Nickelback's brand new documentary, Hate to Love, in theaters this Wednesday the 27th and Saturday the 30th. Going to be screening nationwide. In fact, you can check it out at our local Marcus Theaters here in Bloomington. I got Ryan Peake with me, guitarist from Nickelback, to talk about the film. And Ryan, I want to start off with the fact that this whole thing started off as an EPK for your album, Feed the Machine then grew into a full-fledged documentary. So how do you go from something so small as an EPK for an album into a documentary? Oh, pure idiocy and uh, unrealistic dreams. I mean, I don't know. Uh, That's exactly what it was. Um, Yeah, we just, we we, we saw a small clip of this from the EPK, this electronic breath kit, little package, 50-minute video we're going to make in in 2017. And we just saw some clips and went, wow, that was like, they shot it really well, the, the guy, Lee Brooks, was the, the, the director of photography. Like, it just looked really good. And Ben Jones, you know, had to kind of dial in the questions. And so we just said, this, I, I had it in my head. I'm like, why don't we, make, like, we're talking about our biography. Why don't we make a, a full documentary just on the band? And that documentary was basically just like, here's the history of the band. And, and it grew from that as well. We were like, as we kept filming, we we're like, somebody's like, should we talk about this? Okay. Should we talk about this? And then, Ben, uh, Ben Jones, the producer was like starting to pick scabs. Like, Hey, do you want to talk about this uncomfortable thing and talk about this? And so it kind of grew into this monster, uh, that it's kind of become without necessarily knowing we were doing this, but you know, we, we chase what we feel like is interesting and, and for us and, and something maybe worthwhile. So we're, we're hoping, you know, people will find it interesting as well. And even if you're a fan or not a fan. Well, as you sit there and you talk about these scabs here and there, how was that for you to sit down and to, as you find new parts, to talk about the history of the band? Because there are so many things covered in the film. Yeah. Um, well, it's, it's a, that's a good question, honestly, because, I mean, I don't, I don't know, if, you know if you guys have been sit down and had somebody kind of pick away at your at the things that bother you, you know, personally, or the things, you know, things that are sent to the subject, even within the band. Uh, I mean, it's, it's one of those things because when you're in the public eye, people think they should know everything about you. And, and fair enough. I mean, if you put yourself in that situation, you're a bit of, uh, you know, public cannon fodder to a degree, but, um, but it, it's, it was tough. We were like, well, how much, how much of our, you know, life, uh, life do we want to share good and good and bad? And that was kind of the conversation as we went along. And we wanted to be as honest as we possibly could. If we're going to tell the story about the, you know, the, the internet hate or the, you know, the, the various health issues some of our band guys have, you know, you have to be, you have to be honest, but you're a, obviously willing to do it and be as honest as possible as you can. So that's, that's the hard thing is because you can be all f-ing happy and everything's great if you want, or you can kind of, you know, show people that, you know, there's four human beings in this band, not just this big monolithic, you know, the kind of, unit as just this behemoth nickelback right there's mm-hmm. people behind that now as you sit back and you watch the final product because you had to go through and you did all these interviews and so forth what was it like then to sit back and watch now you have to watch yourself you did the interviews but now you have to watch it yeah yeah i, I kind of get what when some people i mean it's quite funny i have no idea or had no idea what movie actors and whatnot dealt with when they said ah, i don't go to my movie premiere i wouldn't watch that and after having to watch i had to watch it a few times to kind of get to the edit, but like, yeah, I'm kind of done watching myself. I'm done hearing myself talk. That's, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm over it, but, uh, it's a bit weird, but I mean, it's, you know, it, 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 it makes sense in the process and, uh, and we're happy we got it to a place where everybody is happy kind of with how it came out. As we get ready for the premieres here on Wednesday and Saturday, um, what is the proudest part you have from the film? The proudest part I have from the film? Mm-hmm. Um, I would say, honestly, it's, 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 it's near the ending. It's, it's, it's kind of that we've been through a bunch of stuff, various things, but that we kind of still find a place to, to get together and still want to do this. I mean, uh, the, the more I kind of look at how many bands, the longevity of the bands, um, not necessarily always being a, a, a thing for bands. It, you know, to last 10 albums and still be a band. I'm, I'm pretty proud of the fact that we can, we can get past any differences we have and, and still kind of stick together and, and want to do this, you know, and the, and the fans still coming out is a testament to that as well. So I'm pretty proud that we're still, we're still together. 
Yeah, that's definitely something there because you guys have done a lot. You've been through a lot. Uh, last question here for the fans that come to see the film. What do you want them to take away from it? Well, I think the fans, will, if you're a fan of the band, I think you'll you'll learn some things that you probably didn't know before and, and, and hopefully enjoy the, the story. And and I've always thought for non-fans as well, they'll just, it's it's kind of, it's a weird story. It's a human interest story. I'm a fan of documentaries. I'm a fan of music documentaries and stories. And it even, especially from artists that I'm not necessarily a huge fan of, the story is a whole different thing than the music. That's the other part. So hopefully they'll take that away. Well, I'll say this. I sat down and watched a screener of, screener of it last night, and it was so well put together. Every little piece got the right breathing room to tell its story. Wow. And from front to back, I don't, you know, it was one of the best docs I've ever seen. So congratulations. It was really good. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Don't watch the Tom Petty running down a dream one because it'll it'll knock ours off. So I wanted to rather say number one, but I appreciate that. Thank you. Absolutely. It's a great doc, and I recommend anybody who, like you were talking about, the people who don't even like Nickelback, maybe, to go check it out because it's just well put together. Nickelback, Hate to Love. It's in theaters this Wednesday and Saturday. Nickelbackfilm.com for all the details. Ryan, thank you so much. I appreciate the time. Absolutely. Good talking to you. Take care. You can find more interviews at weststyles.com and follow me across all the socials. It's West Styles Radio.